Hello, Cancer viewers. So, last video I did, I was getting that someone keeps writing messages out to you and then they delete them out of fear. It's like they want to talk to you, but there's some sort of block. Um, it's like too much pride, uh, control issues, could be jealousy issues for some. Just some sort of uh, energy there that stops them. It's like they they think about you a lot and they miss you, but they're trying to be strong or they're just sort of detached from their emotions to some extent. It's like, it's just this energy that I kept getting in the last reading of them, you know, going and, and writing out messages to you. And then for whatever reason, they decide to delete them. Maybe it's been a while since you guys have talked, so they're not sure how you'd react to it. Um, maybe they know they need to apologize, but they're too prideful. Maybe they're afraid of being ignored, being rejected. Um, they're kind of in their head a lot about this connection, like really overthinking things. But there is a desire there to talk to you, so let's see what's going on. Divine intervention synchronicity. Actually, I'll just put them all... Oh, here we go. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. This could be a potential life partner here. It looks like the divine is trying to push this person to go forward because your guides don't want you to be alone. Like if this is a situation that just keeps going around in circles where it's like your person has too much pride to come forward and talk to you and they just like they can't figure it out. They can't seem to make up their mind. It's like your guides know that this is a potential life partner for you, but at the same time, they don't want you to wait for this situation forever. So I feel like your person is seeing a lot of synchronicity regarding you right now. Like they're hearing your name come up in conversation. They're maybe having dreams about you, especially with this full moon that we have right now that it, you know, could be bringing prophetic dreams in. They're maybe just telepathically communicating with you, just feeling your energy, just having these little reminders like numbers, synchronicities just pop up all the time to kind of push them towards you because your guides just don't want you stuck in this energy. They want your person to finally figure it out and let go of their pride and make a move in one direction or another. Your guides are tired of this situation keeping you stagnant. So the divine is trying to, um, your spirit guides, your spirit team, they're, they're trying to remind your person that you know, their home is with you. Their safe space is with you. Like this sense of belonging, maybe they feel lost and they're trying to find themselves. And, and the divine is trying to remind them, like, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. Like that love they keep seeking, they already have that. Like that true love is right in front of them. You know, it doesn't mean that they don't have to also go on their own journey and find themselves. It just means that, you know, don't make things more complicated than necessary. It's almost like they had that love and they just felt like it couldn't be that easy. So they sabotaged it and they tested you. And the, your guides are trying to, your guides and their guides too are trying to um, get this show on the road here and, you know, let them know that this happiness, this this warmth, this light that they feel with you, that, that they kind of see you as like an angel. They see you as someone they really connect with. And their guides are trying to, you know, push them to, to recognize that happiness is right in front of them. They don't have to keep, they don't have to make their life be, an be a struggle. Like everything doesn't have to be so complicated, you know, and they're, they're getting stuck in their head and just overanalyzing things here. Yeah, they're keeping themselves trapped and blocked and tied up and they don't need to. It's like they're just, they're making things so complicated and it's like, your guides just want, they want, I mean, their guides want them to be happy and your guides want you to be happy. They don't want you stuck in this situation. So if this doesn't come together soon, there's a chance that the divine is just going to step down and say enough is enough and they're going to cut this out and they're going to bring someone new to you instead because you do have other potential life partners. This isn't the only one. And so, you know, I think... Because I think your guides are getting fed up. Your guides are starting to get really frustrated with whoever this person is, twin flame, soulmate, whatever it might be. Your guides are starting to get frustrated because there was a life uh, plan for you guys. 
Like this, this was, this still sort of is still a potential life partner, but you have multiple potential life partners. And if one of them's not getting it together, eventually the divine just comes in and says, you know what, we're going to bring someone new in instead because they don't want you stuck in this energy forever. And people have free will. So it's like the divine plan was for you and this person to be together, but they're being difficult and prideful and stubborn. And when the divine pushes them to text you, to, to reach out, to, to open up to their feelings, it's like they start to and then their mind blocks them. You know, they get stuck in their head and they, they overthink things and then they, they stop themselves from reaching out. So where, you at, where you're at right now with this connection, I feel, is that you're frustrated and your guides are frustrated. They don't want to see you in pain anymore over this. So... They are still working on this person. They are still pushing them. Like I said, this is, this is, there was like a plan for you two. Like maybe a plan to like, I don't know if you'd go in business together or like some kind of, some kind of plan here for your, for your lives together where they would just kind of intertwine. And, but again, there's, there's going to be a different path that you're going to be going down if this person doesn't get it together. And that's not the end of the world because you know what? They might bring you, I feel like when they take something away, they replace it with something even better. So if the divine does eventually, because they're frustrated right now, your spirit guides are really frustrated with this person. And if the divine does eventually say, you know what, screw this, enough is enough, and they just step down and they're like, no more, um, they're they're going to bring in a better life partner than this person. So, and it's getting to that point where I don't think this person has long left before your guides are just done with it, you know, because they're pushing them hard right now. And, and so, yeah, that's where they're at. They're really pushing them hard right now. And your person is in pain over this, and you're in pain over this, and they're just too prideful and stubborn. Maybe this is someone that knows they need to apologize, and they just, they don't want to have to do that, or they're afraid that they're going to look stupid, or you're not going to forgive them, something like that. It's like you're both waiting and hoping and praying for this, so you're both kind of stagnant here. Truth, clarity coming in. Ooh. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. For some of you, they might have cheated. But I think you would have felt this already. You would know if they did. Karmic partner. Hmm. Because there's a third party energy here. It also could just be the truth is going to start hitting them that they're going to lose you to a third party if they don't get it together. Because I feel like this person probably will come back around sooner or later from just I can't say for sure but from the energy I get probably eventually they will because I do feel like like there is pain from them but they're like suppressing it sort of you know but I feel like you might not want them back when they come back around because if you're with this new person you might just be kind of over it by then like you seriously you might not even want it by then you might just be done yeah, you're going to be going on an adventure, honeymoon vacation with this other person. And it's like traveling, maybe traveling with this new person, um, just living your best life. And it's like, you know, this other person that was a potential life partner might is going to see that and they're going to want to come back around and it's just going to be too late because you're going to be happy with this other person, you know, because you're in this stagnant energy. Your guides are going to do whatever they need to do to get you out of this stagnant energy. And you're really set on this person, I feel for this group or it's like it's still hurting you for whatever reason so it's like your guides do want this they want you to have closure at least they want some sort of clarity here for you they want truth the truth to come out about this connection even if it's just closure like they don't want you because this this has been keeping you stagnant so maybe maybe for some of you it's like you are kind of done with it to some degree but it's like you want answers like you want to know why it happened the way it did why they why did they leave why did why did they do this why did they do that so your guides want you to have that truth and that clarity so that you can move forward. Your guides are just really focused right now on getting you out of this stagnant energy. They want your life. They're just, they're pushing your person really hard. But like I said, if your person doesn't get it together soon, I feel like there's, they're going to bring this new person in instead. And once this new person comes in, you're not even going to want this other person anymore. But they're both potential life partners. Yeah, and this person would just notice your beauty, your mystery, your enchantment. Like, they would just, they'd know what they have with you, you know? And this other person would be stalking you on social media. And at that point, it's just kind of too late. It's like you won't want them back. But they'll be the one, 
it's like your ex is going to be regretting or this person you had a connection with it's like they're going to be regretting that they didn't reach out when they could you know they're going to be regretting for some of them I feel like they get drunk and then like they like they're so logical it's like they start messaging you and then they like they hold back they like they convince themselves not to they like self-sabotage they convince themselves that you know if they reached out it might not go well for them or just there's so much pride with this person so much pride and insecurity but um your guides want these these cords cut though if the, if it's going to keep being like this they want this cords cut so you can move forward so you can take that blindfold off and i think when this new person comes in it's like this this other person from the past is going to be you know, spying on your social media more and more, kind of like watching you, uh, trying to figure out what's going on with you. They're going to be jealous. They're going to be upset. They're going to regret taking you for granted, but it's going to be too late. You're going to be in this different energy, like leveling up, you know, taking the next um, step in your life could be like new, a lot of new energy coming in for you is what I feel like, not just with love, but with regards to money, finances, career. I feel like a lot of new energy just coming in for you so it's almost like you're choosing between the familiar and this like new unexpected exciting energy it's like you have two different paths that you're going to be choosing from and yeah you're going to have that apology regret coming in from the ex but like I said I don't think you're gonna if they don't get it together now and come through with this I think that in the near future you're going to want this other person more and you're not gonna you're not even going to bother with it it's going to be too little too late yeah, because they've taken too much time to pause and reflect and rest and overthink and plan things out and figure out what they're going to say. And like, oh, I'm, we're, it's my true love. You know, I can go focus on other things. I'm sure they'll always be there, you know, kind of maybe some of them partying or, or drinking or just kind of doing their, doing their own thing. But again, their guides are coming through strong with dreams, visions, telep telepathy. Like their guides are pushing them really hard to... Um, to like, hey, wake up, dum dum. Like, this is the love of your life. You're about to lose this person to someone. I mean, your guides are saying this to them. They're saying to your ex or whoever this is, like, hey, wake up. Like, there's a psychic connection here. You, you know, coming through in your dreams. Like, you better step up now, or you're not gonna have the chance to in the near future because someone else is coming in for you. Like I said, you're not gonna, like, yeah, your ex will probably want to apologize after that. They'll probably start stalking you more and more. They'll be in this even deeper sadness than they're already in. But, you know, can't feel too bad for them because they did it to themselves. If they keep waiting, it's like they're doing it to themselves. Yeah. Any final messages? Submissive, weak-willed. It's like they're just stagnant. It's like they're submissive to whatever's going on in their life. They've just been so stagnant. And you've been stagnant. Might be some mental instability with you or them that keeps keeps this pattern continuing with you guys. But this new love is gonna is gonna help shift this energy. I feel like this new love would like be teaching you new things. Like you'd be experiencing new things like traveling and um they might be like someone who's very like wise and educated and someone who's seen a lot of the world. So they'd be teaching you a lot. Like they'd really help you come out of your shell and you'd be having a lot of really amazing, beautiful new experiences together, you know, mutual feelings, emotional depth, no games, choosing risk and reward and bold gesture, love over fear. So you now you have two paths to choose from between the old person and the new person. I don't know if the new person's come in yet or not, but that's just the energy. I feel that that, that your guides have been focusing on this new person because you're focusing on, or I'm sorry, on the old person because it's like you're still caught up on this. You're still hurting over this or you're still like maybe you just didn't get closure or whatever the situation is, this has kept you stagnant. So your guides are still focusing on this, but they're also so fed up with this person that now they're kind of thinking like maybe another life partner is better, you know, and they're, they're not going to give this person too many more chances before they just bring this new love in for you. So anyway, I hope that resonates. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you'd like a private reading, my email address is below in the description section. Um, and please um, share, subscribe, like, um, and any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar really adds up. My PayPal link is below. Thank you for watching.